Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, guys, you are welcome. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. The door is over here, but come on in the room. <laughs> Place yourselves, guys. I have a big message, apparently. I have a big message. See, I have a really big deck and a whole bunch of other little decks to support it. So, <laughs> this is a collective read, guys. As always, get in where you fit in. It may not be your reading. If it is, all the better. I hope it gives you the answers that you are looking for and or need. Um, let me see, guys. You know, and if it's not your reading, that's okay, too. But one day, guys, one day, if you're lucky enough, I will grab your shit and handle you <laughs> as best I can. Right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for the collective, guys? If this is your message... Don't take it too personal. <laughs> Look, don't hurt them, right? Don't hurt them. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have? And for whom? All right, somebody's not feeling very strong. They're not standing in their power. They may not be speaking up for themselves. They may be trying to do magic. Or maybe they feel that you're the magician. Maybe they feel that Everything you touch turns to gold. Maybe they feel that everything you do is like butter, you know. Maybe they feel that you get whatever you want, whenever you want. So this person right here, they're not making any moves towards anyone, anything in life. They just chilling, right? They may just be sitting in their driveway listening to their radio, you know. But they just sit in their car. They're not going anywhere. They're not going to see anybody. They're like, nah, I'm just going to sit here. And ponder. But when they start that engine, no. They're going to go see somebody. It could be somebody that they're at a distance or um, somebody that they want to talk to. Uh, it's going to be fast movement when they do start that engine. When they do start that engine. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. I like that. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. <laughs> But they're not feeling very strong right now. But that's not saying that they won't be feeling strong, right? Yeah, they're definitely walking away and walking into something. They're hopeful. They're hopeful for their ships to come in, right? They're hopeful. They're manifesting, look like. Or maybe they feel you just have everything. This is the emperor. So it looks like somebody's going to finally step up to the plate, stand into their power, you know? It's like... Don't sit on that seat for nothing. Maybe they realize, you know, like I'm the emperor. So this emperor here is hurt though. They're not making any moves because they're hurt. Somebody did something to this emperor. And they want their justice. No justice, no peace. Emperor wants to come in and balance things, right? Emperor wants to come and balance things. Tell us more spirit. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but they're still not making any movements. They're still not doing anything. Maybe the Emperor found out that somebody was given to someone else. It was unbalanced. Yeah, so because of this deception, this emperor is like, look, I can't offer you this love. Like, you played me. So this emperor is contemplating, like, they thought that you two was working together. That's what this emperor thought. They thought, hey, I thought we was doing this. <laughs> That's what they said, but you didn't hear that from me. All right, so emperor, what did you do? What did you make this person, why did you make them be deceptive, emperor? Look, I'm going to put it on the emperor like it's their fault. So what happened here, emperor? What went down? Can you tell us? Do you know? Can you say it with this deck? No, emperor. No. There's some naughty pictures somewhere. Is this the same emperor from the last reading? You know, the, the, the person with the naughty pictures? that they found out about that they probably saw online GPS tracking 
somebody being tracked. Night, night, nightlife groupie. So this, this emperor was dating a person who probably like to post online because this reading looked like it follows the reading before and they post these naughty pictures online. So now this, this emperor is probably GPS tracking this person. Guys, I have to turn my heater on because it's hot. I mean, cold. So they probably tracking this person. They feel that this person is a nightlife groupie. Like they hang out at the club. They hang out at the bar. Like they could be a bartender, you know, whatever. Um, but this person, they post naughty pictures online. And this person feels deceptive. So they're not offering love to nobody. Yeah, so this person, they smoke marijuana. I think they smoked marijuana in the last reading too. So they do that to relax. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, anything else? Yeah, whoever they're dating is very materialistic. Guys, this came out in the, the last channel. So this person is nightlife groupie. They post pictures online. What else, Spirit? They could be married to this person, right? They married a hot tail. They married a groupie. Stalking, following, watching. That this person could be watching you, stalking you, trying to figure out who you are. The marriage counseling card just flipped out. I don't know if y'all saw it, but it did. So that person there, they want marriage counseling, and it's more than one karmic. So there's a few, a few karmics, a few energies are here, but some of them are very materialistic. They're married. Yet yeah, this is a night worker. This person either works in the club, works in a nightclub, or this person met them on the street. Maybe tried to change them and they couldn't. I don't know. You know how people do. Like on Pretty Woman. Yeah. This person wears a mask. They couldn't change this person. Checking bank records and everything. Maybe they, they don't even trust this person. Who the hell knows, Collective? This is wild. You see it? It's wild, Collective. Holy Spirit, come here and just what's going on? Yep, this is a night of wands, night of wands in the birth in reverse. So this person is very flighty, very flighty in and out of people's lives. What else is going on here? Yeah, somebody's trying to heal from the deception. They involved a lot of different people in their connection. Because this person, they just like hanging out in the nightclubs. They like doing that. It's it's crazy. They involve a lot of people. What else, spirit? My priestess. I don't know if they're trying to follow their intuition. They see they see victory somewhere else, away from all of this. They have their wish fulfillment somewhere else, right? They have their eye on something else. That's what they're trying to get to. They, something that they're not in communications with but this person married a mess yeah they're trying to get away from this queen of wands this queen of wands got so many options so much on their plate like they do too much and yeah they trying to get away from this one Ooh, this one do too much yep ace of cups they don't love this person anymore and they trying to manifest their ass up out of there they're trying to get their ducks in a row trying to get everything that they need to get away from this person. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah. They feel left out in the cold by you. Or maybe they feel like they left you out in the cold. Because they wasn't offering you this love. But now they want to come in with this page of cups. They want to offer you this love. They're also coming in as the Knight of Cups. So they're coming in with offerings, right? They're just trying to get the hell up out of there. They are. Somebody's running. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. The karma could be watching and stalking you. Yep. I said watching and stalking you. And there it is. A lot of interference. There's a lot of interference going on. Could be by the karma. Could be up in this person's head. Trying to stop this person from exploring. From moving on. They don't want them to move on. But this person is waking up to who they married. And they know their happiness is with their past. That's who they, they can't stop thinking about someone from their past. That's who they're trying to get back to. Because they married a mess. <laughs> they married a mess. They said this was just failure. Yeah, and a lot of grief. They said they married a mess. They just want to call it truce. Have an ending with this and move on. They want to they divorce. 
-hmm. They said there's no comfort there. They didn't learn anything in there. They didn't learn anything in that marriage. Too many secrets were revealed. Too much conflict in this marriage. Alright guys, I'm just going to end it here before, if not, I'm going to lose the title. But they're moving on to this Queen of Wands. That's what they want. Wealth, happiness, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. They just got to get away from this devil that's trying to hold them back. But they're coming up out of that despair. Alright guys, we're getting deep. Cause they said there's no joy there if they stay with that person. Alright guys, this is your reading. And if I keep talking, I'm going to take it over to Patreon that I don't have, but I'll create one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.